the next question is from CS on Instagram, looking at brewing a thialized New England IPA utilizing Omega's Heliogazer. Would pressure fermenting be beneficial or would it cause too much strain on this type of yeast? I emailed the people at Omega. Here is the answer that I got back from uh, from Omega and, and I thought it was pretty interesting in, in reference to sulfur pressure fermentation and and the like while fermenting under pressure will preserve some of the thiol aromas so you can potentially hold more thiols uh, with these thiol producing strains um, these strains can also produce some sulfur and then in brackets uh, thiols are also sulfur compounds we've discussed that and so they can also produce some sulfur aromas as well and i worry fermenting under pressure would trap those we we haven't done any trials fermenting these under pressure so it may end up being fine performance wise it should be fine most of the sulfur compounds produced by yeast are highly volatile and will react with compounds in the beer and dissipate over time. And then I asked if contact with copper can help speed that up. And she said copper speeds up this the reactants and can help remove it if it's taking a while. Um, so yeah, I've heard of, uh, you know, what I'll refer to as like old heads talking about getting some copper into their bright tank or somehow building it into their transfer line and transferring through that. And it really helps to strip sulfur out. But yeah, so, you know, because I, I do know a pressure fermentation is is getting more and more popular on the home side. And, uh, and, and so we, we see these, these conversations these conversations coming up so it seems as if these these thiol compounds you know it, it's interesting when you when you think about new new ingredients processes things like that i don't always wrap my head around them immediately but i am starting to think about them in the same way that i think about like hot volatiles right so it does appear that really aggressive fermentation can blow off uh, uh some 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 thiol expression it appears as if uh, a more a more reserved fermentation temperature, a little bit slower burn on your ferment, pitching closer to 64 to 66, may help to hold more of the volatiles, those volatile thiols in solution, right? So yeah, I, I mean, it, it it it's an it's an interesting thing, and, and I. I think a lot of you that are doing this on the home side are going to be able to answer these questions. Now, there are times where I see homebrewers talking about I get nothing but but sulfur farts out of out of these beers and not them as the drinker, but in the glass. Maybe look at that. Right. Um, and, and, and remember, you know, these are sulfur compounds that we're trying to create when the, these, these tropical type aromas, they, they, they are, you know, in that, in that sulfur range, you don't need to try to do everything, you know, all the time, you know, all the phantasm, all the cryo, all the mash hop, you know, all, all these, all these different things to, to leverage maximum thiol expression. Um, but yeah, keep an eye on that and, and start asking around when, when you're seeing people talking about, you know, working with this yeast and all it does is make a fart bomb. Ask them some questions about it. You know, are you fermenting under under pressure? Ask what their protocols were. It, it would be interesting to be digging deeply on that stuff because, uh, again, it, it, it's all new. So, yeah, CS, that is that is the word directly from Omega's mouth. So cheers to Omega. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're gonna maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.